Well, football players around the world are paying tribute to Brazilian football legend Pelé, who's died at the age of 82. The three-time the three -time World Cup winner died in São Paulo after a long battle with cancer. Joining me live now is former Socceroo Mark Bosnich. Mark, I appreciate your time today. How are you remembering Pelé? Uh, well, good morning to you, Samantha, and, and to everyone watching. And we're with great pride. Um, he was uh, arguably the greatest player of, of all time, uh, and with a lot of sadness, um, especially you know closely following um, the wonderful World Cup we just saw in Qatar. Um, to have this news is a, a little bit of a blow uh, to world football. Um, but uh, I, I think you know, come with time, you know, as with everyone, we just remember their good bits, and there were so many good bits to remember about Pele. You mentioned the fact that he was a three-time World Cup winner, the first time you're seeing here um, in 1958. Um, he, he really transcended the sport. He was named, you know, in the 20th century, the, the greatest sportsman of the 20th century. And his character and his humility, um, he toured here um, back in 2015. Max Markson brought him out. I had the great pleasure to interview him one-on-one. -on -one, uh, and he was an absolute gentleman, but he really epitomized um, what our game is all about. Uh, and you know, that, that is not only, you know, brilliance on the pitch, but humility and respect offered, and, and that's what he will be remembered for. Well, you mentioned his tour of Australia. What impact do you think he's had on our local football community? Well, it's not the first time he's been to Australia. I think he toured here with Santos as well, um, the club side he played for uh, with Brazil. But not just the local football community, but the world football community. Um, I think he'd done so much. Uh, for so many people all around the world, maybe not so much in terms of being there for them one on one, but as an inspiration. And that's something that really can't be measured um, because so many people um, watched, um, listened uh, and saw him um, not only in his prime, like I said, on the football pitch, but in his pursuits after football as well. And it inspired billions around the world. You mentioned world leaders, of course, the world stage today is remembering him. Uh, his influence is also away from the field as well, which I think is quite special. Uh, not only meeting with world leaders, but appearing in movies. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, he was everywhere. He was also um, Minister of Sports for some time with, with the Brazilian government. And, uh, you know, he, he, like I said, he's just done a wonderful job. Um, in promoting football in the best possible light all around the world. Um, he had a great spell as well with New York Cosmos uh, in the 70s in America where, you know, football wasn't particularly popular, um, especially uh, in the Big Apple. And he, he, he really took that, you know, took it to a different level there as well. Um, but I think, like I said, the, the, the most that we're people remembering for is that he, you know, everyone considered him as, as one of us, so to speak. In terms of um, you know, in terms of empathising with him and where he come from, and the way that he portrayed um, you know the sport itself, and the sport will forever be connected and uh, and remembered you know by you know his feats. Like I said, not only on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. And what will you remember from the time that you interviewed him, Mark? Um, like I said before, perhaps his great humility and uh, the aura he had, you know, people always talk about, you know, when they sit down next to somebody in a room, you can feel their presence. And that was uh, quite evident um, from the time sitting down with him. There was obviously a, a massive crowd in attendance, both in Sydney and in Melbourne. And, uh, and those two things really, really stood out. You really knew you were in the presence of, of a great energy, of a great person. Um, but he, he always had time. He signed every autograph. He took pictures with everyone that was there. Um, and, uh, you know, at, in seven years ago as well, it may seem a long time um, for a lot of people, but for the people that were there in Sydney and Melbourne, it would seem like yesterday. And just finally, Mark, how do you think he'll be remembered by Australians? As he'll be remembered from all around the world um, as a true great, uh, if not the greatest um, of, of, of this game that's ever produced and, uh, and somebody that will never be forgotten. Appreciate your time today. Mark Bosnich, thank you. Thank you very much, Samantha.